Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in February, I posted that Windows 11 24H2 will use AI Super Resolution to improve gaming. And I'll leave that video in the end screen um, if you would like some more info. But just a quick recap for the purpose of today's video. According to Microsoft, Auto Super Resolution will enhance a set of existing games by default and will also boost frame rates while maintaining detailed visuals. And they also mentioned that Auto SR functions by automatically lowering the game's rendering resolution to increase frame rate, then employs sophisticated AR technology to provide enhanced high definition visuals. And the outcome of this is, Microsoft says, this all results in a smoother, more detailed gaming experience. So that's just a quick overview uh, for today's video. Now, Microsoft has given us a set of games that will be initially supported. Uh, um, by auto super resolution and also the system requirements. So they have mentioned that um, auto SR is applied by default to a set of games verified by Microsoft. So at launch, auto SR automatically enhances, and these are the games, BeamNG, uh, Drive, Borderlands 3, Control, DX11, Dark Souls 3, God of War, Kingdom Come, Deliverance, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Sekiro Shadows, Die Twice, Super Ghost Warrior, uh, Contracts 2 and The Witcher 3. So those are the games that are initially going to be uh, supporting automatic super resolution. But obviously, this is an evolving list of games. And obviously, um, other games could be added in the future um, in due course. Now, to basically change the Auto SR default settings, you need to go to your settings system page, display and graphics. And yeah, you can see the toggle for automatic super resolution under the default settings. So this is where you'll be able to turn the feature on and off. So you have the option to be able to toggle it off. Uh, and then yeah, is what you will see when you start a game that supports auto SR and you see, you'll see this notification confirming the auto SR is active. So that's the little notification you will see according to Microsoft. Now, just to let you know though that um, the system requirements for this are quite steep and it's not going to be available on your so-called normal devices and PCs. This is only exclusive to once again Copilot plus PCs with a Snapdragon X series processor with Hexagon NPU and an integrated GPU according to Microsoft. So um, it's not going to be available to all. You'll need the necessary hardware as mentioned. You'll also need to be running Windows 11 version 24H2 or later. Uh, the latest graphics and neural processor drivers will also need to be included. And um, obviously, to manually check for updates, you will go to your start settings, Windows Update, and then check for updates on the Windows Update page. And a display resolution of 1080p or greater, and the latest version of Auto Super Resolution Package. So those are the system requirements. So um, this will be available to the minority and not the majority when it first rolls out. And the game requirements, Microsoft mentions that Auto SR is supported in most games that run on DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, emulated 64 or ARM64 native platforms. So I thought I'd just update you because I did post a couple of months ago and um, some new information became available with this announcement by Microsoft. So I just wanted to put it out there in case uh, you were thinking of heading in this direction, but just remember, just remember though that this basically is an exclusive feature. Auto Super Resolution is an exclusive feature at this stage and will be only available for Copilot Plus PCs. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.